Let's look at how the destructive test is done on a fillet weld on lap joint and what to look for after the weld is taken apart. To destructively test a fillet weld, the bottom coupon is clamped in a vise just short of the joint. Notice that the weld is facing the technician. Next, the top coupon is grasped with both hands and is bent back and forth until the joint breaks. After the joint is broken apart, the technician inspects the location of the break. A good weld will pull a 25 millimeter or 1 inch or longer length of metal from either the top or bottom coupon and the weld bead will stay intact on the other coupon. The ICAR SWQT welding gauge can be used to measure the metal tear out. This weld passes the destructive test. Here is a weld that failed because the weld broke apart without metal tear out for the required length. 